Hey guys, I'm gonna be recreating a look I posted on my Instagram of this orange, yellow, violet cut crease. I am starting off with the Quick Fix Priming Spray by Urban Decay, and then I'm using a pore vanishing stick by the Estee Edit just to conceal some of my unwanted texture. You know how it is. I'm gonna be using the Inglot HD Foundation mixed with the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white just to lighten it a little bit just because this foundation is a teeny tiny bit dark for me, but I of the finish and the coverage it has. It's a gorgeous foundation. So just to lighten it a wee little bit. I am gonna use concealer today. I'm using a Gotcha Cover Concealer by NYX. Again, I love the coverage this has. It has a dewy finish, so I don't feel like my skin is so heavy and cakey. Then I'm gonna be using the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder to set my face, and I'm gonna use it with a beauty blender underneath my eyes and then a powder puff all around my face. I love this powder, it's really lightweight. It's gorgeous for a translucent powder. And then for contour, I'm using this Inglot powder. I don't know the name off the top of my head. I will link it in the description down below so you guys can go check it out. It's a great one for pale skin. I know you guys have been asking me time and time again, what is an alternative to the Sephora collection of Tranquil? This is it. For my brows, I'm just using the benefit for slicing my brow in shade number six. I adore this. I love it. I'm just filling them in how I normally do. Then, the eyes is what really is standing out for this look. I'm using the Urban Decay Shadow Primer, the Primer Potion, in Free Base. This is just white. This is my bay. I love this. I put a lot on and then I blend it in with a brush. And I also kind of like chop my brow out with that as well, just so I have a really clean line out of there. And luckily, I have a broken nail, so I can blend that in with my finger. Lovely. So, I'm going in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Bright, just in that purple tone, and I'm blending this everywhere in the crease, pretty much all the way up to my brow bone. I'm not going on the lid at all, but I'm going really heavy with this, not really minding it to be too clean, because we're just gonna cut the crease. Then I'm going to go in with this kind of off white bone tone and just kind of apply a little bit to highlight my brow just to kind of make that transition a little bit softer and smoother. Then I'm going to go in with this kind of deep purple eggplant shade and apply that right into my direct crease or where right above where I'm going to kind of cut the crease. And this is the money maker when you need to do the cut crease. This is the Cap on Me White Out. It's the cream concealer in white. All I do is I take a tiny little brush and I kind of draw right above where my natural crease is. Super simple. I have a ton of lid skin, so I often have to pull up my brow a little bit because let's get real, if I didn't do this, the, the product would be skipping and it would be a mess. So I just apply this all over and I really blend it in just so it's not heavy. You don't want to use a lot of product or else it'll crease. And then, you know, I try and make them as even as possible. <laughs> Back into that Brights palette, I'm taking the lightest yellow. Originally when I did this look, I put the yellow all over my lid and I wasn't going to put the orange on there. But then after I put the yellow on, I was like, this needs a little bit of ombre. It wouldn't be a big look if it didn't have a little bit of ombre. So I'm going into this like fluorescent bright orange and I'm applying that right on the outer bit of my eye just so it has a really nice fade and very like gentle soft transition. Back into a deep purple tone and now I'm going to gently draw that right above where I just placed that color and you will see this kind of nicely just transition into a beautiful cut crease. So you only need a little bit of product, step by step. See that? How it just like adds a tiny little bit of dimension to the littlest amount of color. Oh, yes. Then what I'm going to do is kind of do the exact same thing but with an angle brush and black and I'm going to almost dot this along very gently and very, very lightly. Then I'm going to blend that out with like a micro blending brush just so it's very smooth. I am using the NYX Matte Black Eyeliner. 
for this eyeliner look and I'm drawing it on pretty large and pretty heavy. I often find when doing a cut crease, well especially for me, I like to kind of cheat the eye and make my eye look very large and make it look like my lid is huge. You can actually see where my actual crease is on my eye there. I've drawn it like double the size, so that's what I like to do when I'm doing any sort of cut crease. Now you noticed, I didn't pay a lot of attention to the lines where the crease and you know the cut of the crease met because I knew I was gonna be applying some of this glitter. So this is just a glitter liner. I'm applying it actually on top of the yellow, right where it meets the black, and I find it just really makes that crisp, clean line. I'm going in with the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in 77. This is gonna go in my waterline and my tight line, and I'm actually gonna really smoke this out underneath my lash line, and again, make my eye look or appear a lot larger than it actually is with the help of makeup. making sure I'm using a clean blending brush to buff out that black. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back into that light purple shade and I'm gonna apply that right underneath that black. And I'm gonna go fairly low with this. I often find that the way I used to do my makeup is not big enough. And then when I saw my face in photos, I thought I could bring my makeup down a little bit bigger or more further down. That way, your eye looks larger. So my tip to you, bring your makeup down underneath a lot. I'm blending this out like constantly, blend, blend, blend. And then on this brush, I actually have a little bit more of that deeper eggplant purple and just adding more just to smoke it out a wee bit more. And I mean, it wouldn't be a Bailey look without the Roll and Shimmer Platinum, so I'm applying a little bit. Actually, no, I'm applying a lot of that. I don't, I don't, ugh, no regrets here. Roll on Shimmer in the inner corner. For blush, I'm using this Too Faced blush. It's so cute. I almost wish I used like almost like a lavender blush with this, but next time I will. You know, next time. Then I'm using the Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I love this palette. I'm actually using the lighter color. It's almost like a dual color. It has like a pink pearl to it. It's really, really gorgeous. I'm going to curl my lashes as always and for mascara I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. If you need a drugstore mascara, this one is amazing. I love what it does to the bottom lashes. Like it makes them so long and piecey and the formula is super black. Love the wand, it's a great one. The lashes I'm using are not by Lure actually, they're by NYX. They're the number 23, they're my favorite ones. If you are doing a really dramatic eye, these lashes are great for it because they're super, super big. The band you kind of have to flex a little bit, but I reuse these honestly like 10 times, no joke. My favorite part about this look is the Vivid Brights Liner in Vivid Halo. I am taking this and dotting this in different shapes and different sizes, well not different shapes, they're all dots, but different sizes on the inner part of my eye, right by my brow and slightly into my brow. And then as well, down below, underneath my wing and dotting it kind of right along the top of my cheekbone there as well. I've also been obsessed with the trend of actually putting these eyeliners in my lashes. I think that it looks so pretty and draws such attention to the eyes. Like I feel like this makes my eyes stand out so much. I've just, I've been loving it. So prepare to see this a lot more coming from me. The lip I'm using is the Liquid Suede in Oh Put It On. I chose this color originally when I did the look because I love kind of how it ties into the monochromatic, like the deep purple that I use. So, that's the look.